You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't. Hey guys, so today I am filming my hair care routine, and I have filmed this video a couple times, but every time I film it, I somehow lose the file. So I am filming it for probably the fourth or fifth time, and this video was requested by. 123 Makeup Girl, and I will have her channel linked in the down bar if you'd like to check it out. Thank you so much for requesting this video. If you guys want to request any videos, please leave it down below, and I will make sure to give you credit in the video for requesting it. So she asked me if I would do a hair care routine because my hair has been growing so, so, so much, and um, she wanted me to include my current shampoo, conditioner, leaving con leaving creams, styling products, etc., etc. So yeah, so this is my hair. I'm just going to describe the type of hair that I have and then um, I will talk about the products that I use. So my hair is pretty thick. It is also quite wavy. Um, last night I left my hair in a braid after it was wet and I just took it out and this is the kind of hairstyle that I have right now. But my hair is relatively frizzy. I don't know if you guys can tell. And um, it actually has grown quite a bit. I got it cut to about my shoulder last winter break. So in about a year and a half, it has grown about that much. Um, I haven't gotten a haircut since then either, so my ends are pretty bad. But um, I haven't, I don't use heat on my hair very much. As you guys know, I have been doing my no heat challenge. And other than a little cheating that I did, I have not straightened or curled or blow dried my hair in almost two months now. So I'm pretty proud of myself about that because I used to straighten my hair every day. And being completely honest, not using key on my hair made my hair grow at least like that much in a month and a half. Like it grew a ton when I stopped using heat on it. So if you are trying to grow your hair out, I really, really, really recommend not using heat on your hair. So I don't specifically do anything special to my hair to keep it extra healthy or whatever. I just kind of use normal products. I'm sorry if you can hear my mom yelling in the background. So I'm going to start off with the current shampoo and conditioner that I use. And these, this is the shampoo and conditioner that I use right now. And these are the L'Oreal Eversleek Sulfate Free Smoothing System. And I have the shampoo and conditioner and it claims to give you 48 hour frizz control with that is pretty much what sold me because I have such frizzy hair and um, I also got this for free when I was at the Emmys and I just realized that I actually have two different um, types if you see this one is like brown lettering and this one has red lettering so the shampoo is for chemically straightened or damaged hair and the conditioner is for frizzy, unruly hair. And I did not do that on purpose. That's okay. Um, both of these smell ridiculously good. Like, oh my goodness. Um, let me see if I can describe the scent. I just took these out of my shower, so they're really wet. But um, it has like a perfumey scent. Like, it's really florally. And when I put it on my hair in the shower, it definitely like makes my shower smell like this. But I think as soon as I get out of the shower, the scent does go away. So I personally like that. I don't really want to smell perfumey all day and all night because I normally shower at night. But yeah. So um, be careful about that when you're buying the shampoo and conditioner. Make sure you're buying the same um, type. I didn't mean to do that. It was a complete accident. But that's okay. So this is the shampoo and conditioner that I use. Then when I get out of the shower, I will normally put something in my hair to control the frizz. Some days I put in this, and it is a leave-in treatment. And this is from the brand Infusionism, Infusionism, whatever, however you want to pronounce this. And um, it is from the brand Repairology. And I used to have the shampoo and conditioner of this. As you can see, it says step three, leave-in treatment. But I actually ran out of the shampoo and conditioner, so I just have this left. And there's really not that much left, but pretty much to just a little nozzle here. And I will read you what it says to do. So it says massage leave-in treatment step three th throughout clean hair, wet or dry. Can be used throughout the day as often as needed. Comb through, make sure ends are treated, do not rinse out, style as usual. And um, I pretty much just use this on my hair when I get out of the shower a couple times. I'm running really low on it, so I haven't used it recently. I only use it when I have like a special something coming up. So if I have like a party that night or if I'm going out with friends or something, I'll put this in my hair just to control the frizz and make it a lot softer. And on days when I do not use this, 
I use this combination. And again, this is just to add some shine and control the frizz in my hair. The first thing I put in my hair is the Matrix Bio Lace Deep Smoothing Serum. And it looks like this, and it just has a little pump. And I've had this for about a year now, or a year and a half, because I got this the last time I got my hair cut. And that's how much I've used. And I normally just put a pump into my hand, and then I rub it through my hands. And while my hair is still wet, I'll just put this about ear length down in my hair. And it really, really, really controls the frizz in my hair and makes my hair extra shiny. And then I will follow up with this um, glossing cream. And it hydrates, sleeks, and shines your hair. And that is the brand. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And I'm not going to try to butcher it. But again, I just take a little piece of my, this in my hands, rub it in my hands, and then evenly distribute it between my hair. And I will only use both of these when my hair is wet because if I put it in while my hair is dry, it is way, way, way too greasy. Um, every single time I use this combination, I get at least one comment from somebody telling me how shiny my hair looks. So I sometimes forget to do this, but most of the days I do this combination after I get out of the shower. And I only use this on days I wash my hair. If I um, haven't washed my hair that day, I will not use this combination. So next I will brush out my hair, and this is my brush. I have no idea what brand it is or anything. It doesn't really say anything. I think I bought it for like a dollar at the dollar store, to be honest. It's just a normal hairbrush. It doesn't really matter to me what my hairbrush looks like. So yeah, just in case you're wondering, that's my hairbrush. And then I will brush out my hair, and on days that it's really, really, really naughty, I don't want my ends to be any more split than they already are. So I use this Kids Solution by Great Clips Detangling Spray, and this is in Sunflower Clover, and it just gets rid of the tangles pretty much in your hair. And I just spray this throughout like the ends of my hair. I give maybe three or four mists on each side of my hair, and then I just brush through my hair. And it is amazing how much this gets the knots out of my hair and how easy it makes it for my a brush to go through my hair. So I absolutely love this and this was $6.49 from Great Clips and literally I use this all the time. I love this stuff and don't let the kids fool ya because it says this is a kid's solution but you know it's some heavy duty stuff right here. And then on days that I am using heat on my hair and like I said I have not used heat on my hair in a really long time. But days that I am using heat on my hair, I put the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. And I bet all of you guys have seen this. It's raved about on YouTube. That's why I bought it from other gurus talking about it. And it just looks like this in case you're curious. And I just spray this all over my hair on days I'm using heat. It was not locked and I just sprayed that into my hair. Ooh, okay. Anyways, oh, sorry. I keep spraying it all over my room. Um, it smells really good, so even if I'm not necessarily using heat on my hair, if I'm going to the beach or something, I will spritz this into my hair a couple times just to protect it from the sun, and it also smells really delicious, so I like to put it in my hair just for the smell sometimes. And then, again, if I'm using heat on my hair, if I've curled it or even if I've, like, scrunched it or i put it in braids like this and I want the wave to hold, I'll put in a hairspray in sometimes. I really haven't used hairspray in a really long time, but I thought I should show you guys anyways. And the first one that I have is this one by White Rain, and it's the Extra Hold Hairspray. And again, it was a dollar. I'm on a budget. My mom does not buy this stuff for me. So I have to buy it for myself, and it's a dollar. It works pretty well. It is crunchy, but, you know, it's a dollar. And this is a huge, huge, huge bottle, as you guys can tell. And it mists really well. I don't know if you guys can be able to see this, but it's like, it just comes out as a mist. It smells like normal hairspray, so this stuff, although it's a dollar, it's still pretty good quality in my opinion. And then the other hairspray that I use is the John Frizz Erase Firm Hold Hairspray, and this is just a little travel size of it. But again, this is just a normal hairspray. This one leaves your hair super crunchy, which I really don't like, but I needed to get a travel size um, thing of hairspray for when I go on vacation. And then um, most of the days I will put my, if my hair is wet, I'll just braid it down the back of my head. And then when I wake up, I'll just take it out and get curls or waves like this that kind of fall out during the day. And um, when I'm doing that, I just tie it with a scrunchie. And these are my favorite scrunchies. They're the Goody Ouchless scrunchies. And this is just a pack that comes with white, gray, and black. But I also have brown ones in my bathroom that matches my hair. And then for bobby pins, I just have a huge assortment of bobby pins in here in a Betsy Johnson bag. Most of these are goodie, but I also have some huge bobby pins like this. 
and then I forgot to grab some, but um, the little plastic, like little mini elastics are like my lifesaver. I use probably five of those a day, not even kidding. If I'm doing something with my bangs, like the front pieces of my hair, I'll put it back or twist it or whatever or braid it and then I'll use a little scrunchie to tie it and then I'll bobby pin it. Or if I'm doing like a fishtail braid to school, I will fishtail my hair, blah, fishtail, and then I'll take a hair tie or like a little little rubber band scrunchie and just knot it around. I like how the little plastic scrunchies look better than these scrunchies when I'm doing braids or something because I just think they look so much more sleek and cute. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much, Makeup Girl123, for requesting it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Please, please, please leave any requests you have down below. I have a whole list on my phone of video video requests you guys have requested. And again, I will make sure to give you credit for requesting the video. So please, please, please make sure to request any videos that you have. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't.